Ringing in conference season, the Lib Dems advancing under their own steam again. One, two, three. Spirits high as members descend on the Bournemouth seaside. <laughs> We've had some fantastic by-election results, winning in Conservative heartlands and our council results across the country. And I think it's really clear that in many parts of the country, to beat the Conservatives, to get them out of government, people need to vote Liberal Democrat. The party is meeting on home turf. They swept to power in the council elections in May, propelled by local and national Tory turmoil. When the general election comes round, similar success could leave the party in a powerful position. If you like what we're offering, vote for us. If enough of us get elected, it puts us in a position to then go to other parties and say, if you want us to support you in some way or another, this is what we want. But it's still a long wait for voting day with plenty left to convince. I bet they're probably better than the other two. So you sort of, sort of like a Less protest two vote. Evils, yeah. It's a bit of a waste of a, a vote, I think. I mean, there's generally two parties, I think. Always oh, coming third. <laughs> <laughs> It's been four years since the Lib Dems last held a conference, owing to COVID and the Queen's death. Back then, the Lib Dems gathering here came amid the fevered Brexit battles, but ultimately led to a poor set of results at the following general election. Now party members say they're on the up again and are targeting Tory seats in the home counties, as well as more traditional strongholds here in the southwest. And they have a track record. 30 years ago, the Christchurch by-election saw the party's biggest ever swing from the Conservatives. The defeated Tory candidate in that vote, who's now a peer and pollster, says winning across the country is a different task. In the worst set of circumstances with Conservative governments, the Lib Dems have always been able to overturn huge Conservative majorities. The difficulty in a general election is they have to identify which seats to go for. You need a strong campaign manager saying, these are the seats we're going to concentrate on. Characteristically crowd-pleasing policy on the environment and the NHS will be thrashed out here in the coming days. The Tories and Labour keeping an eye on the Lib Dems once again. Rob Powell, Sky News in Bournemouth.